Hi, my name is Sean Denzer. I'm chaplain at the International Center and Director of Worship for the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. And I'm, like many of you, working from home. It's Sunday night and I'm gathered together with my family. We just put the dishes away and we're going to have our home devotions. And I thought I'd let everybody tune in just to see how I do it. Uh, so you can have some, hopefully, some encouragement to do it yourself. First of all, before I do, a couple other options. An easy one, if you have a copy of the Lutheran Service Book, then you've got access to a number of easy daily prayer options for individuals and families. They start on page 294. There's one for morning, there's one for midday, one for evening, and one for the close of the day based on Compline. Those are perfect to use, and you've got your hymns right there. We'll come back to this book for a hymn as part of our devotion. Another favorite of mine is Around the Word Devotions, little one-sheet printables uh, that you can find at whatdoesthismean.org. Pretty easy. Whatdoesthismean.org. The order of these is really simple. Invocation, creed, Lord's Prayer, morning or evening prayer. Inside, you've got readings and a short devotion. That big, that's all. You could do that. And then on the back, a psalm for the week, a verse to remember, and a prayer, and they even have a little tiny hymn printed here that you can do. And that's all, pretty much, except for a Bible, self-contained in one sheet. We're going to use what my congregation, St. Paul in Hamill, Illinois, gives in every bulletin. And it's a real simple order. We're going to get a chance to hear a psalm. We're going to use part of the catechism. We're going to sing a hymn, and then we'll end with some prayer. And I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to lead this as a father would with his family. And it's not always super exciting. Sometimes people are unruly and noisy. Sometimes they're excited to be on camera. But that's okay. The point of it is to hear God's word and to do it as part of a family. And fathers and other heads of household, this is your duty from God. You know it's a pleasing work to Him. It's a good thing to do. And uh, so you can see how we do it. All right, ready, everybody? Let's start. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come again to judge living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, Catechism, girls. What is the office of the keys? Our key is that special authority which Christ has given to his people on earth to, to forgive the sins of, of repentant yes. sinners, but to withhold, but to withhold forgiveness. Good job, you know it. 
who worked on it all week. Uh, where is this written? This is what St. John the Evangelist writes in chapter 20. The Lord Jesus. Good. Do you remember where that's from, Monica? Do you want to say it by how you know? John 20. 22, verse 23. 23. Do you want to repeat after me, Monica? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where is this written? This is what St. John the Evangelist. This is what St. John the Evangelist. Writes in chapter 20. Writes in chapter 20. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. Breathed on his disciples. Breathed on his disciples. And said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, if you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. They are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, if you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. They are not forgiven. John twenty. John twenty. Twenty two to twenty three. Twenty-two to twenty-three. And Lucia, do you remember the Bible verse for this week that we worked on? Lucy is talking. Of the kingdom of heaven. That's pretty good. From where? Matthew sixteen nineteen. Let's say it all together. I will give you the keys of the kingdom, Matthew 16, 19. Okay, let's sing. We're going to sing 743. How many of these did you learn this week? I learned all of them. All right, well, let's sing all of them then. Jesus, priceless treasure. Fount of purest pleasure, truest friend to me. Ah, how long in anguish shall my spirit languish, yearning more for thee? Thou art mine, O Lamb divine, I will suffer not to hide thee. Not I as beside thee. In thine arms I rest me. Foes who would molest me cannot reach me here. Though the earth be shaking, every heart be quaking, Jesus calms my fear. Lightnings flash and thunders crash, yet though sin and hell assail me, Jesus will not fail me. Satan, I defy thee.
Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Grant, we beseech you, Almighty God, that we who for our evil deeds do worthily deserve to be punished, by the comfort of your grace may mercifully be relieved. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That's it. Off to the dishes.